Right. So they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually the true savages. And then Christianity is not a weekend worldview. Like we can't just talk about love our neighbor on Sunday and then come out on Tuesday and be approving and kiki and ha ha and about someone saying another group is genetically deficient, leads them to more sin than other groups, causes them to be more savages and things. Let's just jump into the video. And I'm not here to bash Nick Cannon. I really appreciate a lot that he's done as a black man, 100% honest with you. He's hired young actors, young this, young that, and platformed them. So I'm not gonna just say it and bash it, but we have to speak about some things. And let's be honest, then let's go let's let's go to what it really is then when we talk about the power of melanated people when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys and in, in understanding right. that our melanin is so power and it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black the reason why they fear is because they the lack that they have of it so then when you see what you know dr uh francis c wellesley talked about is that fear in that 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 just uh, genetic that annihilation efficiency mm -hmm. of when you have a person that has ha has the lack of pigment the right. lack of melanin right that they know that they will be annihilated so therefore however they got the power they 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 have the lack of compassion mm -hmm. that mel melanin comes with compassion what right here right here is where he starts losing it i'm just get honest with you and we're talking from a Christian perspective on this podcast, I mean, on this uh, video. Melanin comes with compassion. In a sense to say that if you don't have melanin, it makes you less compassionate, kind of more sinful. I don't see how any Christian could co-sign this type of stuff. To be honest with you, and I see a lot of it online. Um, no, the people who did those atrocities to various demographics, yo, they turned the witness of their heart and they violated people that's on them it has nothing to do with dna it has to do with them them melanin comes with soul that mm -hmm. we call it we call it soul we soul brothers and sisters that's the melanin that connects us. Right. so the people that don't have it have are are a little and I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully <laughs> are a little less uh, this is basically the same logic that the people who's complaining about used in regards to people's skin and saying that they're deficient and things of that nature, they're less than. Even Gandhi, the peace loving poster child for nonviolence, used the blacks as savages or less than logic. I mean, it's, it's common throughout history to have this type of logic used against us. And us to decide to employ it is, I mean, 100%. It's idiotic. It, it, it's counterproductive to the mission we have at hand. Check this out. We are all made in the image of God. From the kid with Down syndrome to the person born with deficiencies, we're all born in the image of God. No one is made less. No one is more of a sinner because of a race. No, like. And, and, and where the term actually comes from, because I'm bringing it all the way back around okay. to, to Minister Farrakhan, to where they may not have the compassion or the, the when they were sent to the mountains of Caucasus, when they, when they didn't have the power of the sun that was, that the sun then started to deteriorate mm -hmm. them. So then they're acting out of fear. They're acting out of low self-esteem they're acting out of a, a deficiency mm -hmm. so therefore the only way that they can act is evil he's literally blaming the sun for evil like i don't get it i don't get how us as christians people from a christian perspective yes I, oh, i'm very pro black I, I'm, I'm from richmond california right by oakland black panthers in my family in my blood all that good stuff you can't be so pro-black that you end up forgetting or seeing this and just embracing ignorance. As if the sun is the God that, 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 that nourishes evil and righteousness in somebody. Now the son of God did that, but not the sun in the sky. It, I'm sorry, you can't blame the evil ways of the world on this. I mean, what happened in history is horrible and led to certain cultures 
being pitted and, and, and deciding to be pitted against other cultures to advance theirself. Led to racism, systematic racism, a whole bunch of things. But at no part can I say that God made God made them deficient, more sinful to do that. I can't you can't go there. That that line is not there. And as Christians, we have to push back on that. We have to. Christ came down and died for all men. God made God made humans and said it's good. He didn't say some are good, some are deficient. We have to stand up for the truth. We have to. The only way they can they, they have to rob, steal, rape, kill, and fight or flight okay. in, or, in order to survive. Exactly. So then these people who didn't have what we had, and when I say we, I speak of the mm -hmm. melanated people. Right. They had to be savages. They had to be barbaric. They had because they're in these Nordic mountains. They're in these rough uh, torrential environments. Mm. So they they're acting as animals. Right. So they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually the true savages. And then okay, this part right here. This is the exact same logic that colonial people used to enslave black people. The exact same logic. You're less than, you're animalistic, you're a beast in these that nature, you're less than human, you're less than me. Let's, let's leave it him. You're less than my people of my hue, of my race or ethnicity. You can't complain about oppression and then use the same logic of the oppressor. Like, that doesn't work. If we're going to fight oppression, you have to fight oppression. You can't sit here saying that. No, no, no. When you said we were three fifths of a man, you were wrong. You were wrong. We we are few. We're we're full human. Actually, you're three fifths of a man, and then you don't use their same argument on them. That's the problem. When people start embracing other types of worldviews. They just go with what feels right, what sounds right. You know what I'm saying? You like the icon. You know what I mean, I had to put that up because it was always up. But you yeah, notice the pigment is there. You know what I'm saying? So let's not put it as Christianity, some white man's religion, and this and that. You know what I'm saying? But Christians, like you guys have to, Christianity is not a weekend worldview. It's not a part time thing. You know what I'm saying? We are all made in the image of God. There is no Jew nor Greek. Things of that nature. Yes, there is racism. Yes, there's a lot of Christians that spew racism. Yes. If you follow me on any social media, you see I argue with them all the time, bigots. But I can't start using the hate they have towards them. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. They built up such this, this, I don't want to say warrior, but they built up such this, this, this conquering, mm -hmm. uh, barbaric mentality. Like you're literally hurting the movement we have going on right now. You're giving people like like Terry Crews and them talking about black supremacy, an actual legit stance when it was laughable yesterday. Like, come on, man, you gotta do better than this. Like, you risked it all just so you could go on here and try to impress Professor Griff. Like, he kept saying that, like we're doing now, saying the truth get you in trouble, things like that. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. I mean, I know. You know what I'm saying? You have to come across a certain way. Build your credit up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You're a Nickelodeon actor. Like, you were married to Mariah Carey. You have some half-white kids. Stop acting like you hate white people, bro. Like, like let's just be honest. Let's be honest with it. We got to do better. We got to do better. Now we have Diddy. Come on, bring your show over to a black-owned network. So you're going to let idiotic racist comments fly on your network, Diddy? Like... We can't use the same logic that we have pushed back against that someone's deficiently less than us DNA genetically. That's exactly what they use to impress and enslave our people. Now we're gonna try to use it now, like and from a Christian worldview, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I don't I don't know people's faith. You know what I'm saying? I won't go out and guess a live who's going to hell and things of that nature. But see a lot of Christians commenting as if he said nothing wrong or that they don't disagree. Yeah, Houston, we got a problem. Got a problem.